There's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this. Fuck, it's right there in the drawer, in the box. I missed it. Shit. What is up you guys, my name is Gluntenflot and I'm back here today with another episode of Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. So today we're playing part 7. It's getting fucking intense. Yeah, I'm not gonna explain what happened, you know what happened, stuff happened and things happened. So, let's see what stuff and things happens in the next part. Let's go. And we're starting with Carla. Carla's place. <laughs> She doesn't have any nipples, so that concerns me. She might have to see a doctor about that. Get the phone. Where is it? Is it here? Where's the phone? it out here there it is sure took your time yep I was in the shower what do you got I got nothing dead end impossible to ID the page marker found in the book from the restaurant it's got a series of numeric codes written on it but it just looks like a lot of numbers to me I, I thought you might have some ideas why don't you fax it to me I wasn't tired anyway. I'm sure it'll make for good bedtime reading. <laughs> okay, I'll send it now. If you get any brainstorms, give me a ring. I'll be here for a while. Tonight's gonna be a long one. Okay, talk to you later, Tyler. Yeah. Shh. So I'm gonna switch to Tyler now. So I can fax the piece of paper. Normally, I don't like leaving Sam home alone, especially now. But this bookmark had me intrigued. I had a gut feeling that I was holding the key that would identify our killer. I felt like I was closing in on him. And I wasn't about to go home to sleep until I figured out what this paper meant. Yeah. Very good, Tyler. Let's fact this son of a bitch. Let's fact this son of a bitch. Oh yeah, that's a modern piece of fax machine. You done now, Tyler? You done? Swap to Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. Where's your fax machine? Areas. The bookmark we found in the killer's book. Letters and figures. I wonder what it means. Hmm. Wonder what it means. We know what it means. But we ain't gonna tell you, Carla. Okay, so you're not even gonna do anything with it. You're just gonna keep it there. Could you please turn off the music, Carla? You're gonna give me a copyright strike. I like this. Uh, it's a good juicy soundtrack with a lot of nice songs, but that's not optimal right now. Thank you. I'm gonna have to swap that song out as well, so you might miss and miss miss me. <laughs> that's awfully quiet. Let's put on some clothes, shall we? Clothes. Okay, so we get to see her showered naked, but we can't see her change clothes from... or well, put clothes over the the underwear. Guess that's too hard of an animation. I'm not sure what we are going to do, actually. What's in here? Just a nasty toilet. I like it how the meter only goes to neutral and down to like 
fucking crippling depression, but you're never better than neutral. You just, eh, I guess this day's as any day. That's sad. Oh, look, pizza. Oh, look, dishes. La dee da, it goes around the world, around the la dee. Oh, did you see it? Nutella. I'm guessing that's Nutella. Who could that be at this oh, hour? Oh no, it's Not a boy. One. I was feeling kind of bored. Hello there. I thought as my official friendly neighbor, you'd agree to share my boredom. Ah, this excellent bottle of French Chablis. Ooh. In my capacity as your friendly neighbor, I wouldn't think of refusing your boring invitation or your excellent wine, Tommy. Nice. I imagine that even Good a diehard neighbor. bachelorette like yourself must have some wine glasses around here somewhere. Hmm. I think I do have some. Somewhere. Sit down, Tommy. I'll find him. Yeah. You mean I'll find him, Carla? What? Is there even more people here now? No. Wine glass, wine glass. Oh, would you look at that? Old boxes and glass. Nice. Let's drink some wine. Some music would be fine for this, but I do not dare to put it on. A toast? I have All not right. put anything in this wine. To love, what else? I'll drink to that. <laughs> can you go home now so I can work? Are you with anyone? <laughs> well, actually, I did meet someone two weeks ago. Who? He's very real and very nice. And he works in a bank, too. I think this time it could be something serious. Are you still single? What's a beautiful girl like you waiting for? Go find yourself a nice guy. If there's one thing New York has lots of, it's handsome men. I don't know. I guess the desire is just not there. My last romantic experiences were total disasters. I'm not ready for anything or anyone just yet. We see you, Carla. We see you. I'm happy to see you got your smile back. We all have our ups and downs, right? I always thought that people in New York didn't give a damn about gayness. They were so enlightened. How wrong I was. They still look at us as being different from so-called normal folks. Enough small talk. Look at what I brought. What the fuck's that? Tarot cards? <laughs> I'm going to read your future. What the fuck? <laughs> you mean you know how to use those things? <sighs> My grandmother was a psychic. She taught me how to read the cards when I was just a kid. Mm. She handed down her seeing Let's powers. Let's see. To I will die single. It really works, you know. What the cards foretell always well, comes to Carla. pass. Well, Carla. That's what I mean by Let's that. see if you're going to meet your true soulmate or if you're going to die as a wrinkled old maid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, Mr. Gypsy. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. It's easy. First take the cards and mix them up. Yeah, let's do it. Tell my future, boy. Take two cards. Two. There's a lot of cards. Use the character control keys to move your hand. Use the enter key to choose a card. I want that one. Le Morondé. And this one. There's going to be a dark period, an escape, and terrible danger. Take two more cards. A lot of boobs in this episode. Well, two pairs, but still. La Maison Dieu. You're not alone. 
Le diable. Following someone and he is disturbing. He hides a heavy secret. Take two more cards, please. Well, it's me, Lucas. Le pendu. There is a curse. And death. Great suffering and fear. I see dark death and distress. Not good. Yes, just come to me whenever you need cheering up. <laughs> Seriously, I'm sorry, Carla. This is not turning out to be as much fun as I thought. You think? It's okay, Tommy. Party pooper. Let's see what horrors my destiny holds for me. Here are two more cards. More cards? Why? I guessing this has n n doesn't matter at all what I pick. One child, two destinies, a path toward life, the other path toward death. Death. Carl, I think we'll stop there. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. You're stressing me out here, Timmy. Tommy. You usually don't express anything like this. Don't apologize, Tommy. It's just a silly game. I never believed no. in fortune telling anyway. Well, I've got to get home. It's late. Hey, since when are you interested in investments? Why do you ask me that? You've got a fax here with stock quotes on it. Those are stock quotes? Ooh, we're getting closer. Sure? Of course, that's my job, Carla. I read them all day, every day. A list from a bank. Is there any way of knowing which bank issued these? From your fax, no. But normally the original document is printed on watermarked paper showing a numeric Shit. ID code identifying the bank. We're going to you get them. You have no them. idea what a huge help you've just been, Tommy. Good night. Good night, Carla. That's it. I've got to call Tyler. Tyler! Tyler! Yo! Oh! Tyler Miles. It's a list of stock quotes. Our bookmark was printed in a bank. Stock quotes? Yeah. How'd you figure that out? It, it'd take too long to explain. Our bookmark is probably on watermarked paper, showing the bank's numeric ID. Check the document. Is it printed on watermarked paper? I'll check it out and call you right back. Ooh. Exciting. Guess I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Water printed mark book back. Ra -ba -ba -ba. Pick it up then you son of a ba 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 ba. Do I have to sit down for that? Take it up. Shake it under the light, bruh. You stupid? Put it under the light. Gotta try harder. Fuck it down. Penis enlarger. Gain up to 5 inches of sheer pleasure. Result guaranteed. Why wait? Yeah, why not? Hmm, we got a little cute apology from our, our lovely Sam. I like fax machines, mailing your partner. This is right up the alley for a game that will be relevant for life. So is the light on? Now it's on. Okay, maybe now then it's different. Hold it to the light. Come on, do it. Yes. I think I found it. There we got it. Was easier than I thought. Well, it was just as easy as I thought. As I thought. Tyler? I couldn't find it before. I've got the code. You should have no trouble identifying which bank it corresponds to. This time they gonna get got me. A killer. I think I'll pay a little visit to the bank tomorrow. You want me to go? No, I'll do oh, it. I'd rather go myself if you don't mind. I'd like to see what our boy looks like. We'll meet afterwards at the station and compare notes. See you tomorrow, Tyler. Okay, see you then, Carla. Oh, yes. Oh, we're gonna play as Lucas as well. Forgot about that. 
Yes. <coughs> Grab the phone, lucky boy. Lucas Kane. Ooh, he's back. What is going on? Something is happening. Shit. What? No. What the hell is going on? Wrecking my apartment, that bitch. Fuck. Where is all of this going? Just disappears. <laughs> totally wrecked. Do it. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Get to the door. Shit, this is dangerous. What? Okay, so my whole apartment is floating in air. I'm officially out of my mind. No, not my CDs. Here we get oh dead men I think about this. Here we get men. Get good. There's soon nothing left in my apartment. <laughs> like literally nothing. There's a few shelves left, take them too. Balcony, run to the balcony, run to the balcony. It's your only hope. Not a whole lot left now. Not a whole lot left. I'm gone.
Lucas's terrifying story haunted me all night long. I had to see him, to talk That's to him. Marcus. I had to find out what Agatha had told him. I wanted to look my brother in the eye and hear the truth. I'd never you been to really did. before, and it took me some time to find it. Why haven't you been visiting me? Oh shit, it's 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 a uh, uh, hurry now. Fuck. Where is it? Where is the apartment? Fuck, I don't even know. Is it here? Lucas Kane. That's yes. it. Hurry up, hurry up. You gotta hurry now. He's gonna die. You have to help him. Hurry up. Marcus. You heard him scream. Get in there. Lucas? Help Lucas, him. open the door. Lucas! Fucking hurry up then. I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Lucas is in danger. I've got Fuck. no other choice. Run then, you soap. Lucas! Oh my god! Help him! Pull him up! Pull him up! Yes! Can do it! Yeah! Did it! Fuck! Fuck! Lucas, for God's sake! Have you lost your mind? What's come over you? The walls... The walls were blown away and... The wind... The tempest... I... Why did you do this, Lucas? Why? Somebody tried to kill me. It's not for my fault. For heaven's sake, Lucas! There's no one else here but you and I. You were all alone when I arrived. All alone, Lucas. What's Fuck you, happening Marcus. You don't know me, anything. Marcus? I don't know what's happening. It'll be all right, Lucas. Everything will be fine. I'm gonna help you. You'll see. Oh, what's gonna be alright? I finally convinced Marcus to let me go out. I'd slept most of the day, and he'd stay to watch over me. We're back I needed back. to get out and get back in touch with reality. My physical condition was deteriorating rapidly. My mental state wasn't much better. No. I could feel myself slipping away. I knew that it wouldn't be long before I lost it. I thought the episode was gonna end. But there's more. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. You have to run now, boy. Get up. And you need to hide this paper here. Hide the paper. Hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it. I think I must have used it for a bookmark. Hide it. Come on. I'd better try to hide this. Yeah, that's what I said. Ooh, I can see where he's hiding it, of course. And the photo. Fuck, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ooh, the book. Richard the Third. I often should hide that too. I like the sober, desperate tone. Hide it. Hide it. Marcus gave me this book, along with the one I left. Hide it, please. Better not leave it lying around. You sure? Can you please hurry up as well? You're very slow. Very slow. Now let's... How about the photos? Is there anything here we need to hide? No. Is there anything here we need to hide? No. Then just sit down. Play cool. Hide some photos maybe. Fuck, we're in a hurry now. Now she's coming. I can't hide the photos. Fuck. She's gonna ask me about that. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. You are Lucas King, right? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Fuck. Questions? What about? I'm working on a homicide case, and we have reason to believe that the murderer worked at this bank. Shit. What do you want to know? Could you confirm oh, that this list came from here at the bank? 
Will he say something about the watermark? The paper does come from here. It has our bank ID code in the watermark. Is there a way to establish where it was printed Fuck, from? fuck, 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 fuck. Shit! This kind of paper is used by stock buyers to print out their quotes. Shit. There's about a hundred of them here in the bank. Fuck. This guy seems really tense. Probably nervous about nope. being questioned by the police. No, you fucking relax now. You take it easy. Is there a problem, Mr. Kane? Huh? Oh, uh, no, no, sorry. Is there a way to Fuck. determine where this particular document was printed out? What's his problem? <laughs> Seems like my questions I'm are upsetting him. No, not really. Our printers don't leave any identifiable marks. A witness helped us make a composite photo of the suspect. Would you Fuck. mind taking a look at it for us? Yeah, sure. Show me my face. Relax. You're not relaxing. Are you alright, sir? Suspicion. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I feel tense. I've got to keep cool. This remind you of anyone? No, nah, that's me. Hey, this looks like a lot of people I know. It could even be me. <laughs> You're right, these composites can be a little vague. Hey! I can't reach them from there. It's not my fault. I'm fucked. I'm I'm totally fucking fucked. Have you noticed anything unusual here at the bank lately? No, not a thing. They told me about what happened to this guy yesterday. I wonder if he's gonna mention it. Yes, I well actually I'm susceptible to epileptic seizures. They're fairly rare, but they can be violent. In fact, I had one yesterday, and I'm afraid I put on quite a show. But that's about the only unusual thing that's happened here recently. That's strange. His forearms are bandaged. I wonder what happened to him. Fuck. Did something happen to your arms? You have to lie. Oh, I had a stupid accident doing some home repair work. I guess I'm not much of a Mr. Fix-It guy. Is that you in the picture with the priest? Is he a friend of yours? It's my brother. Marcus. That priest looks a lot like him. Maybe a member of his family. That's my brother, Marcus. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna fail now again. <laughs> Didn't even fail. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You seem a little peakish. A little. I, I, I might have you a think? little cold. <laughs> Stupid. He's lying to me. I can smell it. No. Damn. Maybe this is our guy right here. Stranger things nope. have happened. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm just gonna go and splash some water on my face. Go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. Thank you. Oh no, she's gonna look around. He's yeah. acting so strangely. I'd better take a quick look inside his desk before it. There ought to be some fingerprints on it. That'll make it easy to see if this is our man. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find the things we hid. There's something written on the picture. LKMK, June 2003. 
where did we hide the things? Okay, so let's check the drawers then. A little quicker, thank you. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Just like the one in the restaurant. That's worth checking out. He's coming. I'll just remove it discreetly. I must find this fucking piece of paper. Where is it? Ooh, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this. Fuck, it's right there in the drawer. In the box. I missed it. Shit. But I saw it. Better? Yes. Thanks. Pooper. I don't have any more questions. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you for your cooperation. Ah, <sighs> Pooper. It's weird working against myself, so to speak. That was it for this episode. Make sure to check out the next one and the previous one. And if you like this video, leave a like. And make sure to hit that subscribe button because, you know, it makes my day. And until the next video, have a good day. Hey there.